getting the fish tank in the basement set back up. And plus I've got a second one that I'm going to start working on in a couple, I'll probably tomorrow. But uh, with hauling all the rocks and the sand and gravel and stuff like that, my back is about done with it. Um, I'm going to start with some crayfish in there, which I've got right there. Let's get some light on them. There we go. I want to get these set up for when the outside pond needs to be broke down because of the cold. So I want to get this set up so I can bring a lot of the fish in because they stay with me every season. They'll go from the fish tank out to the outside pond. Unfortunately, um, if those of you that have watched videos, uh, shorts and stuff like that of the aquarium before, um, I had left the aquarium set running and set up while I was in Illinois and when I got back it was pitch black. Unfortunately the filter stopped running because I had an auto feeder set up and the auto feeder kept dumping too much, it was dumping too much food. I'd never used one before and it uh, overdid the feeding and they weren't able to keep up with the amount of food that was getting dumped in there. So I'm going to start adding the crayfish to this. I put some of the tap water in with them because I just got them so I want to make sure that they are acclimated so I got that part done. These tops I actually got those found those inside this fish tank that I found at the dump. Somebody had thrown it away and all the wood that I used to build this stand for it is actually from the dump also. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift this part of the top, just kind of move it off. The screen that's on here is one I had here. I was using kind of as a cover on this one, but it, it fits that aquarium that I found at the dump perfectly. So, okay, well I'm just gonna ring them up and I'm just gonna dump them in because I, I made sure I didn't put too much water in the tank, so I because I knew I was gonna be putting extra water from with the crayfish. That's a big guy. Big blue pinchers. One more. Okay. Oh, he's He's already starting to head to dig, starting to dig. I put a lot more sand this time than last. Oh, that, there was one off in that hole over there, too. Let me grab a piece of paper towel here. Because the water temperature compared to the basement is cooler, so it's uh, actually condensating on the outside of it until the water... It gets more acclimated to the temperature of the room. That guy already has got himself a home set up. And he's digging away. That's a big rock, a nice big flat rock with lots of sand underneath it. So he'll be able to dig his way in. Make himself a little home under there. Okay, well, there'll be more videos to come. I'll be putting fish in here too and be adding to that.